Okay, so I haven't uh, made a video of my pond in quite a in quite a while. Um, what's happened in this pond is that all the little tossi have got big, so it's way way overloaded compared to what it was before. I mean, obviously I'm waiting to move into my new place, and at the same time the fish keep growing. So I've obviously haven't moved fish on because I'm expecting to move them into to bigger water pretty pretty soon. So I've kind of left them here, but a lot of the, the next generation, like this shower here, started really small and have all uh, all grown up. So, so yeah, I really need to get them moved on. I mean, this pond is completely, completely full. Um, it's a bit misleading in terms of size. So if you look at the Matsuba that's against the wall on the right-hand side, that fish is well over 80 centimeters. So you can then get an indication of how big the, the rest of the fish are in the um, in the pond um, there you can see my big kohaku now is over over 80 as well against the wall on the left um, some of the tossai he has two shower tossai that I bought not so not so well actually maybe just over a year ago that have grown up really nicely nice shishui this is a new kohaku that I bought look at that really good strong uh, strong pattern female nice body shape um, I'm going to get stuck into that and get that uh, really bulked up, but it'll be an incredible, incredible fish. Look how fat these uh, Karashigoi are. This one is completely, completely smooth. Um, yeah, but all doing really well, excepting the, excepting the massive, uh, massive overpopulation. Quite sad that uh, this pond is going to get uh, broken down when I move, but uh, you know it is what it is. It's done me incredibly well. Um, I've been very happy with it. But yeah, so you can see, <laughs> completely overstocked. Um, so many of the smallies are just growing, and I can't, uh, I can't uh, do anything to kind of slow that down. Um, I've got to, I've got to get into the new pond as quickly as I, as quickly as I can, and then from there I can work out kind of who stays and, and who goes. But some of the bigger ones looking just incredible. Look at the male Sankey in front here. Beautiful. Some of the babies are now kind of mid sizes in the 40s, looking nice. There's my nice uh, Kohaku baby. Looking. Very, very nice. A little bit of foam on the water, but that's expected with all this, uh, with all this stocking. Um, maybe the colours are not so balanced because there's too many, too many fish that uh, are red, white, and uh, black. But that's just because I like Gosanki. In the new pond, I'll put some others in. I, w I really want to get some good asagi uh, and a couple of other varieties as well. But uh, yeah, this is pretty, pretty insane in terms of bigger size fish. Look at the kaku, beautiful, beautiful fish. I actually also might not be doing any more koi showing. I've been thinking about whether I actually show in future or not. And uh, I'm kind of thinking it's better not to show. Uh, less stress on the fish and, uh, you know, you don't run the risk of damaging them and just kind of leave them in their, their pond. So potentially I might show one more time or actually not show at the next... Uh, the next local show uh, might do virtual shows but I don't think I'm going to be carting fish to a physical show anymore um, rather just enjoy them in the in the pond itself but yeah I'm just super happy with the the um, condition of the fish at the moment they're looking absolutely incredible look at this big uh, Mukashi Ogon this one is about almost 60 centimeters this is the baby that was uh, here with the batch that I brought in. So many of you guys bought, local guys bought Mukashi Ogons at the same time. Look how this one has come on. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Fantastic. Imagine how nice they're going to be in that uh, in that bigger pond. This pond is 23,000 liters. They're going to a pond that's uh, uh, 73,000 liters. So another 50,000 liters plus filtration to be added on to to the setup. There's a lot of smallies in here as well. If I zoom in you can see little Sankeys, 
little uh, Yamabukis. There's also some Gosanki against the wall there, one Goshiki. I'm really keen on this one shower. Look at that shower that's coming towards us now. Jumbo baby. Just grown absolutely incredibly. I can't believe how fast this fish is growing. I think it's got a lot of potential for the for the future. It needs to redden up and it needs to uh, maybe just uh, sharpen up in terms of the pattern. But uh, it's a great fish for the for the future. Anyway, I haven't uh, I haven't done a pond uh, video in a long time, so I thought I'd do one and just show you what's going on with the existing pond rather than what I've been doing, which is always showing you what the what the new pond looks like. But cool guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Give me any comments, uh, likes, and if you enjoy the videos, please uh, follow the channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers.